Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to solve some equations with higher roots. So let's have a look at the first example. So we're going to solve x to the power 4 equals 2401. So to solve this we have to do the opposite to power 4, which is to do the fourth root on both sides. So it will give us our x value. So if you don't know this in your head, use a calculator. So to get the fourth root up, we need to go shift the power key. So we need to put a four in the box on the root. And our number inside is 2401. And we get an answer of seven. But there's one thing to remember as well. There's actually two solutions when the power is even. You can actually have x equals positive 7 or you can also have x equals negative 7. The reason for this is because if we do minus 7 to the power of 4, you see that also gives us 2401. So let's move on to the second example. This time we've got 3x to the power of 5 equals 96. So we've got x to the power of 5, then it's been multiplied by 3. So if we get rid of the 3 first by dividing by 3 on both sides, so that will give x to the power of 5. So 96 divided by 3 is 32. And then the opposite to power of 5 is the fifth root on both sides. So we need to do the fifth row of 32. So we go shift power key. So if we type a 5 there, put 32 there, and we get the answer to. And that's the only solution this time because the power was an odd number, so there won't be a negative solution. So let's have a look at our third example then. This time we've got 2x to the power of 6 take away 1 equals 1,999,999. Okay, so x has been raised to the power of 6, so then it's been times by 2 and then we take it away 1. So if we get rid of the minus 1 first by adding on 1 to both sides, so that will give us 2x to the power of 6 equals 2 million. So we now can get rid of the 2 by dividing by 2. So that will leave us with x to the power of 6 equals 1 million. Okay, so the opposite to power 6 is to do the 6th root on both sides. Okay, so if we've got, we've got to do the 6th root of a million. That gives us x equals 10. And remember from example 1, if we have an even number power, we have two solutions, so we can also have negative 10. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.